wait a few more seconds for some more people to jump on before we get going with tonight's live and start with some questions. And thank goodness it's not raining. I don't think it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let's go ahead and do it. So, all right, I think we're ready. And first, I want to introduce this lovely lady sitting next beside me, <laughs> Mrs. Brenda Crane. Um, but before you ask me any questions, I do want to ask you to share a little bit about your experience with what you've um, had going on at Barton Smith Physical Therapy. Oh, it's been wonderful. I had a stroke, and I, I started after my stroke therapy and all that, I started around May at Barkman and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk, I couldn't move anything, hardly at all. And I have just come leaps and bounds with Barkman. You know. um, just wonderful. I can walk with a walker, I can, I can do all kinds of things. I can't say enough about Barkman and Smith. They're wonderful. <laughs> well, you've definitely done a lot of really good hard work to get there. So, okay, I think we're ready for some questions. Mm -hmm. Let's do... Okay, before questions. Yeah, let's talk about... Uh, oh, I need to introduce myself. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I'm Serena Burrell. I'm one of the therapist assistants right. here at Barton Smith Physical Therapy. I've been a licensed assistant for 12 years. The last nearly six has been spent here. And so we're just... This is the next installment of our Get to Know Your Therapist segment. Um, so, Ms. Brenda and I will be going through some questions um, and just having a conversation. Incidentally, <laughs> Serena has been my therapist off and on through Barkman, and she's just wonderful. Well, thank just you. Just wonderful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, but I do want to remind everyone that last time we had Mr. Ron Barkman on, and he spoke about a total knee replacement rehab. And if you missed that live stream, you can check back on our Facebook page and check the videos and you'll be able to see him and maybe in some burgundy pants, we'll, we'll see. But he's <laughs> back in there. Um, but he also mentioned our brand new clinic over in Alliance. It's off um, Golden Triangle Boulevard in North Fort Worth. Things are kicking off there and growing there. And Michael Merle, he was on here before too, and he's the one kind of leading the charge over that way. So if you know anyone out that way and they need some help, then that's open for business and they'd love to see you in. And I also want to say, and this will be good for you too, um, we have our newest therapist. She's an occupational therapist, Mrs. Lori Matthews. She is going to be on, not this next Wednesday, but Wednesday after. She's going to come on and talk about occupational therapy, um, what it is, how it can benefit you, your family, or anybody else that you know um, that is having just some difficulty with some everyday activities. So be sure to tune in to see her um, talk about that and educate us on occupational therapy. I want to thank everyone for coming on tonight and spending some time with us and kind of chilling with me and Miss Brenda here and getting to know us. Um, I've, like I said before, I've been here for almost six years and it really is crazy to see how much everything has grown just in that short time span. I mean, Bartman Smith has been around for more than 30 years, um, but even just in that short six years, I mean, I can, our schedule was totally different. We had, when I started, it was just me and Vince, Ron, Paul, um, and. Uh, we had another PTA here too. I mean, it was just us four. And that's what it started with. The schedule was totally different. I mean, everything struck, well, not everything, but a lot of things were structurally different. But now, I mean, we've grown so much. We've added new people. We've added Chaz, Lori, Kaylee, uh, Bree, all these other people. And it's really, in a new clinic. So it's really been pretty cool to see how it's transformed and grown over those years. So, Without further ado, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing about working in physical therapy? My favorite thing about physical, it's kind of hard. Because <laughs> like I said, I've been, I've been doing this for about 12 years. And so a lot of it is second nature. And I just go and do. But I think 
the things that make me the happiest are when I see people really get back to their true selves, to what they want to do. Because when people come in and, and you know, like you're not functioning the way you want to, you're either having a lot of pain, you know, you can't play with your grandkids, you can't do things by yourself, you can't go and do all those recreational things that you used to, and it really bogs you down, you know, and you become someone not yourself. You really kind of become masked, and it's, you're just not you, and so it's really neat to see people flourish through that, and they become, we get to see who they really are when they get better, they get back to doing the things they want to do, they get their independence back, and they just, they just become happy, and it's just so cool, and they come in like, oh, guess what I did? I got to play with my grandkids, or I got to reorganize the closet, and that may not seem exciting, but if you couldn't do it, then <laughs> it's exciting. So it's it's really cool to see people get better and be able to get back to Good. what they love. You've so. been a therapist for 10 or 12 years. Where did you go up? I grew up in a little town of 2,000 people in northwest Oklahoma. Oh. <laughs> kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing your to hobby? do? Oh, my hobby. Um, hmm. Well, me and my fiance, we like to check out zoos. We like to go to different places, and each time we go to a different town or different city, then we like to, like, okay, do they have a zoo here? Like, let's go check out the zoo. Oh, really? So we like to do that. We like to go to different um, nature parks and arboretums and just kind of wander around and check out the nature around. And we try to, every time we go somewhere on a little trip, we just try to see new things, whether it's new coffee shops or like I said, we're partial to the zoos and the nature parks. So really just explore, I guess. Well, with that in mind, what is your favorite food? Oh. All the concession stands. And <laughs> well, pro I like a lot of different things, but probably anything pumpkin. Oh, me Like too. fall season, this is my season. Me too. This is my season. And <laughs> pumpkin everything. Like, I'll take it. Good. And coffee. Good. And pumpkin and coffee is even better. Okay, <laughs> let's get back to rehabilitation. What is your, as a healthcare provider, what, what is your favorite body part to treat? That's a little tricky question because each part that we see or each diagnosis that we see is so different in its own way. You know, and each person is different in their own way. So even though this person's coming in for shoulder pain and this person's coming in for shoulder pain, they're not gonna be exactly the same because they both have different things affecting their rehab or different considerations to make. And so even if it's the same body part, it's different. And so each time that I'm with a person, I don't necessarily think like, ooh, this is a shoulder, I get to work with a shoulder. <laughs> I don't think that, I just think, okay, let's see. You're having some more pain today, what can we do to help make that better? You know, so I guess I just think of more the overall mm -hmm. goal at the end of it. Yes. But that being said, I do feel like I'm, I've become more partial to uh, people with movement disorders. So like working with you in yeah. your stroke, but also people with like Parkinson's disease and things like that. And it's just really cool to see the transformation, especially with you and everything that you've yeah. accomplished in really just this short time. Yeah, it's been short for sure. Yeah. Why did you become a therapist? Why did you want to do that? Well, it was, my mom kind of planted the seed. So I was a senior in high school and my mom was like, Serena, you should talk to your aunt because my aunt is a PTA that uh, she does a different setting. And um, at the time I was like, oh, okay, I'll talk to her about it. But I had my own idea what I wanted to do. And so I went to college and kind of experimented around with different degree paths and none of them seemed to really work out. And so I thought, okay, I took a semester undecided and I went back to PTA and I was like okay maybe mom had something right and, <laughs> and so I researched it and I knew I wanted to do something with people mm -hmm. I wanted to do something that made a difference I wanted to do something that would help because I'm a, I'm a helper person yeah. like I'm the one like yeah. I want to I don't like just standing still not doing something like oh, I want to be the one to help yeah and so I knew that was my personality and still is so what can fit in that 
So I got back to that, researched it some more, and thought, okay, well this job looks like it kind of checks a lot of those boxes. And so I went to my advisor and switched it, my major over, and wow. the rest is history. And here I am. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what is, a, this is a tricky one. Uh -oh. What is a little known fact uh -oh. that people will be surprised <laughs> to know about you? Okay, well, I have a question. Oh. Do, you, <laughs> do you want a fact or a story? Both. Both? You can't say both. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you can't. You have to pick one. I wasn't prepared for that. Story. Okay, a story. Okay, so it was, I think it was my senior year. No, it was my junior year. It was my junior year in high school. And I'm, I know I have to wear glasses or contacts. And so, but in high school, I wore glasses all the time. And for some, somehow, I, I don't know how, I can't tell you how, but my glasses ended up getting flushed in the toilet one day. And so, I have to have glasses. Like, I didn't have contacts at the time. And so, at my high school, we're not allowed to wear sunglasses but that was the only pair of extra glasses I had that would let me at least see something. Oh, no. Otherwise, I just had these little Harry Potter ones from like second grade. And so my mom had to call the principal and explain like, look, she has to have her sunglasses because she can't see <laughs> otherwise. And so I had to explain all the time, all my teachers and all my friends like, why are you wearing your sunglasses? You're not supposed to wear those. <laughs> and at the time, I had, before that happened, I had braided all of my hair into a bunch of little braids. And so, <laughs> of course that happened. So I'm walking around with my prescription sunglasses with my hair on little braids. And <laughs> I did that, I had my braids in for about a week until my glasses came in. And uh, so when I switched that, it was time to take out my braids. And my English teacher, she was like, it's like a whole personality change. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, that is a little known <laughs> fact for you. Yes. And my band teacher, it was the end of the school year, and so we had an end of year concert. So I'm playing up there, I have my braids in, my sunglasses on, and he's giving out awards because it's the end of the year. And he tells everyone in the auditorium, there's a story why she's wearing her sunglasses. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> So the rest of that night, I had to explain why I was wearing sunglasses. Oh, no. <laughs> Which so at the really, time was terrifying. You are delightful to talk to, I'll <laughs> tell you. <laughs> well, thank you. Just you delightful. <laughs> we have some questions coming in. Uh, one of our viewers wants to know who you were rooting for in the Cotton Bowl last week. <laughs> really, what for you say? I was, I was rooting for the winner who happened to win, just like they did last year. <laughs> Put that in there. Oh. <laughs> a good question. Good question. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a Sooner mask. So you have what? I do have a Sooner's mask. Oh, do you? Yeah. You should have worn that. Time. I know. I know. I have to wash it though. I keep forgetting oh, to put it in. Sport. Another viewer asks, "What is your favorite sport?" My favorite sport. Well, I played. I really like watching basketball. I'm not very good at it, but I like to watch it. I like watching basketball, I like football. I know more about basketball, like I actually know what's happening. And football, I just kind of vaguely know, but you know, I get the general idea. <laughs> um, but I like watching basketball, um, I like watching MMA, um, and I do do some kickboxing here and there on the side, so I enjoy that. And I'm not good at tennis though. Not like Serena Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at that. Another incoming question. If you were to meet anybody you would want to in the world, who would it be? Oh, that's a good question. If I can meet anybody. Besides Miss Crane. Well, that's it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that, don't make yeah. it easy. Don't make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If I can meet anybody. Gosh, I don't know. That's a hard question. Who would you want to meet? Give me some inspiration. Uh, yeah, see, it's hard. Emmett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little before this generation, back in a little ways. So. <laughs> Maybe I would want to meet Keanu Reeves. He's he's one of my favorite actors. <laughs> and he seems like a pretty cool person. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another question from a viewer. There's a, uh, a question as to whether you have a certain way of torturing people when they leave their laptops on at work. Oh, I bet John put that question in. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so we had to school Mr. Jonathan on unicorns. <laughs> and what unicorn, like a group of unicorns, and what unicorn babies are. And I forget how, but he somehow got wrapped up into this conversation. And when he leaves his laptop open, like, okay, well, it's open and you're not around it, so I'm just going to go put a picture of a unicorn on it. You know, because oh, you left funny. it open. Oh, funny. Oh, <laughs> and, funny. and they thoroughly enjoy it. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> you always have some kind of kidding or game going around, don't you? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> on some level. You know, sometimes it's low key, but that just makes the next one pop a little bit more. Yeah, right. <laughs> And one more viewer, it's not a question, but a comment. Alton says, Brenda, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Al. Oh, gosh. I didn't See? know he'd be watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, thank you again for joining us here today. And reach out if you have um, any suggestions for topics you want to know more about you want us to cover, talk about, um, tune in to our next Facebook Live. Again, it's with Lori. That's October 27th, and she's going to teach us all about occupational therapy, and I know that's an avenue that you're excited to Very get much started so. on and whatnot. Um, thank you again for joining us. And I do just want to say that your determination and just your willingness to try anything with us, even though it scares you, yeah. that's paid off so much. Thank and you. You really have improved leaps and bounds Thank and it was so, so cool much. to see you walk in the other day in your walker you were in your wheelchair I know. you're standing all proud walking in I and know. that's that's really huge thank you all because so. of barkman for sure and yeah. you guys well you're the one putting in the work and, and trusting <laughs> us when when things when they feel scary you know yeah, so it's, it's definitely paid off and it's going to be really cool to see how much more you go from here too. And it's nice to see this side of your personality. <laughs> yeah, when I'm not yelling around at everybody. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. So, but thank you for coming okay. out and spending time with it's us. It's been a and pleasure. It has been. This has been fun. It's fun. Um, and thank you guys again for joining us. And everyone, stay safe. Have a good night. Don't get rained on. And <laughs> we'll see you next time you roll in.